Hi, I'm Dave Cross, and welcome to the very first episode of Breaking Bad Photoshop Habits. I put together these series of videos because I keep seeing people doing things in ways that while they work, they're just kind of, well, what I would call bad habits because you can kind of paint yourself into a corner. And the reason this happens often is because many of us are self-taught in Photoshop and we discover a way that works, but it's not necessarily the way that's going to give us the most options down the road. If you've seen any of my tutorials before, you know I'm all about non-destructive and flexibility and experimentation, and we can do that by doing things in the way that gives us the most options. So let's take a look at our first example here. I've got a stock photo with a type layer, and I really want to make it look like the type is going behind our photograph. So we're going to talk about two bad habits, two bad habits for one, two for one in this first video, two mistakes that we can make that on the surface don't look like a mistake, but could be a mistake. So one option would be to try and erase part of this layer. Well, I can't erase part of a type layer unless I do a command called rasterize. And that's, I would say, a bad habit that many people do because in the past you had to do that. Now there are other options. In future episodes, we'll talk about smart objects and how that can solve our problem. But let's talk about the problem here with rasterizing is now I can't edit my type. So what I could do is take my eraser tool and I could start erasing away. And I'm going to do this really quickly just for the purpose of demonstration. because I just want to show you that, yes, this would actually work very quickly. We would have the result that we want of making it look like our photograph or our word photography is behind the camera. But the problem is what happens now if someone says, oh, wait, just move it up a bit. Well, now I have a problem because I'm missing information. And of course, if they also say, I need you to change the font, well, now I'm really in trouble. Now, some people would say, well, just duplicate the layer first. And that works, but even that's not a great habit because it doesn't give you the control that we really need. So I'm going to undo enough times to get back to having a type layer. And instead, a better option for me would to use a layer mask. A layer mask lets me temporarily hide something. So I'm going to click back on my background layer I just use the quick selection tool. I'm just trying to make a, a rough selection for now. Of course, I could zoom in closer and get more accurate if I really wanted to. But for now, for the purpose of demonstration, we'll say that's okay. Now I'll go back to this type layer. And one of the simplest ways to do this is go to the layer menu and choose layer mask, hide selection. Now there's other ways to do it, including keyboard shortcuts, but that way you'll see now we've got the result that we want, it's in behind. But here's the two things that make this a better approach. Number one, this is still type. So I can change the font, the spelling, I can change anything I want. But also, see how the mask here is our little black area that's hidden. If I show you what it looks like, here's the mask. But if I unlink it, this means the mask will stay put. Now if I click on the type layer and use my move tool, I can move it around and actually change the position and still edit the type. So rasterize could be roughly interpreted as a bad idea because it takes away the ability to edit your type and we want to always edit, have the ability to edit our type as much as we can. The layer mask means we've temporarily hidden the type or whatever the layer is, but we can always change our mind. For example, here, if I decide for some reason that I do want more of the layer showing, I could take my brush tool and if I paint on the mask with white, I can start to reveal more of the text. Not that that would make sense in this case, but that's one of the advantages of a layer mask is the ability to do that kind of temporary hide and show. So there you go, a couple of bad habits we can break very quickly. Don't rasterize, instead use some other methods including a layer mask and as I said in a further episode, we'll talk about smart objects and how that is a wonderful thing working with type. And also layer masks are often, very often, a better choice than erasing or deleting things on layers. So stay tuned for the next episode. I'm Dave Frost. Thanks very much for joining me.